What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, now in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a maze game in Scratch 3.0. I'll put a preview on screen of what you'll be making today. It's pretty simple, it's pretty easy, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is delete the Scratch Cat and make a new sprite. Now this sprite will be the player. So I'm just going to make this sprite a circle because it's pretty simple and I think it's pretty good. Make sure you have no outline and your color is not black. Then go to code and find a good spot for your player to spawn in. For example, I like the top left corner. So I'm going to do events, one green flag clicked, motion, go to X and Y, and this is the position where the ball is right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to control, forever, grab four if then blocks. Then go into sensing, grab four key blocks. Change these to the arrow keys, so up arrow, down arrow, left arrow and right arrow then drag them into the if then loop blocks take this whole chain of if then loop blocks and put them in the forever loop and then what you want to do is you want to go to motion go to change x by grab two of these then grab the change y by grab two of these make sure they're the correct blocks not the set x2 and set y2 next you want to do to change x by three other one negative three Change Y by 3, other one negative 3. Change Y by positive 3 goes in the up arrow key pressed. Change Y by negative 3 goes in the down arrow key pressed. Change X by negative 3 goes in the key left arrow pressed. And change X by 3 goes in the right arrow key pressed. Then go to backdrops, paint a new backdrop, go to the square tool, make sure your fill is black, and just make some obstacles. Now once you have your obstacles done, you want to go into control, grab an if then loop block, go to sensing, touching color, go to the color picker, and choose the color of your obstacle. For example, mine is black. Then what you want to do is you want to find this X and Y block at the top and just duplicate that just like that. Put it inside there, put the forever loop back on the one group flag clicked, grab the if touching color black, put this on the bottom of all of these if then loops. Now if you test your game, as you can see, you can move around and if you touch the black, you go back to the start. And now you're going to make it so that you can advance to other levels. Now what you want to do is you just want to go back into your backdrops, go to backdrops, backdrop, click on the one with the obstacles, select the circle tool, make your fill different than the player and the obstacle, draw your circle onto the backdrop, go back to your sprite, go to code, control, if then loop, sensing, touching color, color picker, changes to red or click on your sprite, then Duplicate this X and Y block again and put it inside the if touching color loop. Go to looks, next backdrop, put that in there, and then drag out on the very bottom of all this code, but make sure it's in the forever loop. Then if you test your game by going around the obstacles, as you can see if I hit the obstacle it works, but if I go inside the portal, I go into the next backdrop, aka the next level. So I'll put a preview on screen of a really advanced maze game that you can actually turn this into with multiple levels, a really hard maze and stuff. And if you just edit the backdrop to make it more complex and you make your sprite smaller, it can be really hard and really fun. Now this is a simple, short, and easy tutorial. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.